Rio Doso of 2019 was off to a little rough start until I got acquainted with the horse, Mr. Jiz Jenkins. The horse ran a super good race in his trial. I was a little nervous as we were going into the gates because it was uh, there was a bad headwind and uh, I had a lot of faith in that horse and I was a little nervous because, like I said, it was a, a, a bad headwind and I was afraid that it was going to hurt him. But the uh, horse broke super and ran a great race and uh, the, the headwind didn't affect him any. He, he ran fast enough to have a qualifying time and I was excited when I seen that. The horse was training super going into the finals and I was so confident uh, going in with this mount. I just knew that this this was probably going to be my opportunity to win the All-American. So Labor Day comes around and I'm super confident in the horse. He's training really good. Um, the horse is 17 to 1. There's no pressure. And uh, I knew just leading into this race that, uh, that I could win. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsor. With frozen semen available at Robichaux Ranch in Brobridge, Louisiana, and with one breeding season to quarter horse mares already in the books, it's time to look towards 2021 to breed to one of the finest sprinters in the land. Breeders' Cup winner, Matoli. Matoli's a master! Matoli wins the sprint! Oh, what a horse he is! The blazing speed and stamina outcross is just what the quarter horse racing mares need. The mighty Matoli, who won the Fargo by three and a half lengths. An earner of over $3.1 million on the racetrack. But it's Matoli wins the Run Happy Met Mile. Breeding to some of the finest quarter horse mares in the upcoming 2021 breeding season at Robichaux Ranch. America's fastest horse, Matoli. So we loaded in the gates, got quiet for a split second, and the horse next to me flips, and immediately I'm, then I'm getting nervous. The horse stayed calm, he stayed collective once we reloaded, and it's like he didn't lose a spark when he was in the gates the first time. And then when they kicked the gates, it's, it was history. They, they kicked the gates, and I could hear the roar from the crowd, and uh, I could just see that I was in, up in front by myself, and it was clear. Crossing the wire, my exact thoughts were, um, I can't believe it, I just won the World's Richest Two-Year-Old Horse Race, and all the work has finally paid off, and I was just really excited. Coming back after the race and seeing everybody's expression and seeing the crowd and the, the people that were going to get in the winner circle, it was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was very exciting. After winning the All-American the first time, it just makes me that much more hungry to want to win it again. Mr. J. Jenkins will always be a special horse and one that I'll never forget, but I'm looking for the, the next one to help me win the All-American and this might be the one. <laughs>